Your grandfather, Georges Rocher, was the young apothecary of the town of Oliva. It was a nook's favorite story, always told in the same words. Georges was honest. Georges was honest, um, prosperous, and trusted by his customers. But Georges was not content. He felt there should be more to life than dispensing liver oil. In the spring of 1927, the Society Pharmaceutique formed an expedition to Central America to study the medicinal properties of certain natural compounds. Georges was the expedition's most eager volunteer. But his adventure took a turn he did not expect. One night, he was invited to drink unrefined cacao with a pinch of chili. The very same drink the ancient Maya used in their sacred ceremonies. The Maya believed cacao held the power to unlock hidden yearnings and reveal destinies. And so it was that Georges first saw Chitza. Now Georges had been raised a good Catholic, but in his romance with Chitza, he was willing to slightly bend the rules of Christian courtship. The tribal elders tried to warn George about her. She was one of the wanderers. Her people moved with the north wind from village to village, dispensing ancient remedies, never settling down. Not a good choice for a bride. George did not heed their warning. And for a while, it seemed that he and Chitza might lead a happy life together in France. Alas, the clever North Wind had other plans. One morning, Georges awoke to discover that Chitza and the little girl, Vianne, had gone away. Mother and daughter were fated to wander from village to village dispensing ancient cacao remedies, traveling with the wind, just as Chitza's people had done for generations. Just as Chitza's people had done for generations. 